so glad to be back. Y'all just don't know. You don't know what it's like to send an old girl home to go through boxes and junk and unpack. And holy no, that is not what I needed to do for about five days. But when you're iced in and you're old and you don't want to get out there and fall, I stayed in the house. And I'll just tell y'all, staying in the house is not good for me. I cooked anything in the kitchen that would not cook itself. If it was willing to jump in a frying pan, it got cooked at my house. It got to a point that I ran out of Crisco and I was making biscuits with butter because I didn't care. I just wanted to be cooking. So if you're hungry, when I get off the set, I'll meet you down at the house and you can eat leftovers because there's lots of leftovers. There's something really dangerous about me at home, so I'm not going to be home anymore this winter. No more big snow days. And it was a big snow day. Ball ground got four inches. That's a lot of snow for us. I don't know what y'all got in Fannin County, but we're going to find out because some folks are here today that are sweeter than sugar, and we're going to bring them on in just a little bit. And you know when they walked in, I smelled a little bit of sugar, and uh, that's kind of weird because I'm actually wearing a perfume now that one of my guests wore. And every time she was on, I just loved the way she smelled. She smells so clean. And it's funny because these girls walked in, and I'm going Crisco and butter and chocolate, and I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. So yay, we're going to have a fun day today. I've got to catch up on some birthdays, and obviously we missed some because we were out a couple of days. I made the decision not to travel yesterday because yesterday in the community where I lived for many, many years, a lady was a, less than a quarter of a mile from home and was killed on black ice. It is still so dangerous on some of these mountain roads. There are mountain roads who have not seen any rain yet. They haven't seen any any sunshine yet and the temperatures were still low so yesterday was one of those days less than a quarter of a mile home she died and and that just scares me to death so um, in the early 80s we were in a bad car wreck and it was on ice it was on the fourth day after an ice storm and I never never forget that day because my knee won't let me forget that day it's been 30 some odd years later and my knee still pays the price but the ultimate price was paid. Um, somebody in Gilmer County lost their life on the black ice, and I'm not sure if anybody in Fannin did, but y'all, when it's bad, and they say it's bad, don't go anywhere. Stay at home. Do like old granny did here. Stay at home and cook. Just cook and cook and cook and cook. When it gets to a point that there's nothing left to cook, you open the refrigerator, you grab out some eggs, and you boil eggs, and you make egg salad. Then you gotta eat egg salad for three days because you over -make. That's what the weather does to folks. So, invite your neighbors in to eat up the leftovers. And if you're like me, you probably have some. Okay, let's get these birthdays taken care of. Happy, happy birthday yesterday to Wendy Cash, to Paige Turner, to Kim Jordan, to Viola Raper, to George Robinson, to Danny Willis, to Rachel Reynolds, to David Silvers, to Tim Parton, to Jeannie Lowe, to Sylvia Smith, to David Cavender, to Teresa Cochran, Melissa Norton, and Jason Gentry. Happy birthday to each and every one of you. Now I've got some prayer requests. My buddy and my director from Atlanta for many years, love, 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 Fred Wyndham, had his procedure done at Kennestone. He has nothing but great praises for the doctors. He is doing well. They saved his kidneys. They got his heart going like it's supposed to be going. And I hope that he will be hopefully back to work one day because he's already feeling better. His heart was puddling up with blood and he wondered why he had no energy. Well, guess what? The doctors have figured it out now. So, so thank you for the, your prayers for him. Please continue praying for Cindy Hammontree. Please continue praying for so many folks who have fought over the holidays. It was just a tough, tough time with families losing folks, with um, illness, with sickness, with the flu going around. And you know, I've always kept my guest a few feet from me. I moved them over a tiny bit now because the flu is going around Fan and Kenny, so the girls are over just a little bit further than normal. But if you're sick, keep yourself at home and stay away from people. Be thoughtful. Wear a mask, use Lysol, do whatever you have to, but don't spread this junk because it is a nasty, nasty flu. Anything that whips Paul Kiker is a nasty bunch of stuff, so, so take care of yourself. Today I want to share a recipe with you about 
This is men's stuff. This is called grab it and go. And I've done the recipe in the past and people always say, now what'd you do to that thing? And it is so super simple. It is a super bowl perfect recipe because you make it and guys don't make messes with it. That's the thing you love about it. You want something that they put in their hand, they slap in their mouth, it's done. No plates, no mess, no forks, nothing except you make it, they grab it, they go and they eat it and it's done. We're going to share this with you and then when we come back from that, you're going to get to meet the sweetest two girls in Fannin County. I've heard some rumors that they've got some new recipes out, they've got some new things going on, and I'm going to put them on the spot. Have they done an inauguration something that might have a political tone? And we'll find out, because if so, it would have lots of glitz and glamour in the middle of it. And when you bite in, you'll just see gold and all kinds of things. So we'll talk about that when we come back in just a few minutes. Recipe. Got this is. For you, oh, how are you? On time, every time. On time, every time. You're always on time for lunch. Well, as long as I can grab it and go. Honey, you can grab this one and go. I promise you, this is a simple, simple recipe. We're going to do it quickly, and you can grab it and go. Awesome. This consists of canned biscuits, ground beef, onions, shredded cheese, a little bit of Hidden Valley Ranch spices, and some sour cream. How simple? Grab it and go. My guest this evening is Jerry Ballou, who happens to be my UPS driver. Hey, Sharon. How you doing? I'm doing good. Love to see this boy come in the door. He's always smiling, always happy, Thank you. and has killer great legs. <laughs> was teasing him about that because I thought you'd show up in shorts today. I'm sorry it was cold oh, this morning. Oh well, I've seen the movie Legally Blonde and I love when that UPS driver hits the door because those girls are thrilled to death and I think the girls in my office like when you come in too. <laughs> well thank you very much. And you're single. Yes I am. And you're a good cook. Yes I am. I love That's a great, and what, there are seven children in your family? Yes there are. So yeah. you learned from your mom? Yes we did, yes. Yeah. She was a great cook. Oh and, wow. You know, and I've got two hungry boys that I had to feed all the time. So Good. I was always cooking. Cool. Cool. And now do your boys like to cook? Uh, no, they like to eat, but uh, they like for dad to have it ready when they <laughs> get yeah, there. That, yeah, that's a plan. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. Well, I promised you a quick and easy recipe, and this really is a quick and easy recipe. Super. And it started, um, I've done this for about six weeks, and every time I make it, they just grab them and go. And I said that was so easy because we had, we made it one day going to the go kart track. The guys just grabbed it and went with it. And I just decided we can do it now for a dinner, and then you can do it at breakfast too with bacon and eggs. So we're going to do this one tonight for a night time. Now Jerry, we have browned ground beef and chopped an onion and I want you to add the Hidden Valley Ranch. This is dry Hidden Valley Ranch dressing like you would make um, dip that you'd okay. use at parties. So this is a great combination for seasonings for this. <clears throat> and then you add sour cream and I promise you I made this about four times before I shared the ingredient with anybody because I was making it for some of my grandchildren and I thought if I tell them there's sour cream in it they'll say they don't like it. I made them enjoy it and then told them the ingredients. Now we're putting 12 ounces of shredded cheese to our sour cream, our ground beef, and our Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. And I actually keep this in the refrigerator and then when I come home from work I can just throw it in the oven because by the time you put it together, just a few minutes. That does sound simple. Really good. <clears throat> you can have this with a salad and some fruit and it's all, it really is a grab it and go meal. Now we're going to spray our Pam with Pam. Now the trick is you divide your biscuit in half. And you take half. You can be working on those. <clears throat> you just put half of the biscuit in the bottom okay. of each one of them. And then quickly you fill those little Basically, it's a little shell that it develops as it cooks. Right. And it covers your ground beef mixture. You take just about a tablespoonful of the mixture and put it on top of half of the biscuit. Okay, now we're putting the top of the biscuits that we've torn in half. We're just covering our mixture. And then basically, it will form over and close itself up as it cooks. Now we're going to put these in the oven for about 10 minutes and I do it at 350. You don't want to do it too fast. Um, sometimes you cook bread at higher temperatures, but this you do it at 350. Now in about 10 minutes we can grab it and go. Cool. Now Jerry, they're hot out of the oven and they were quick. Yes, were they, they quick? Were. They were easy, quick. Easy. easy. And what are we going to do now? 
We're going to grab it and go. We're going to grab it and go. Now, tomorrow, you bring me my plate back like you do every day. I certainly will. Okay. Thank you, Sherry. You're welcome. It was great having you here. Thank it was you. great making this simple recipe. We hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned every Thursday night to Heart of the Home. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. I'm Lauren Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs 1980 National Championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up at number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from the University of Georgia. Hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. Subway! Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids and grandkids can trust. <laughs> call Alpha! For the best agents in the business, call Ed Stepp in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to georgiamtc.com. Hello everybody, my name is Roberto Pereira. I'm a cardiologist practicing at Piedmont Mountain Side at Jasper, Georgia. I'd like to invite you to join me as I talk to some very interesting people about health. Sometimes physicians, sometimes nurses, sometimes both. And the name of the program is called Doctor Talk. It airs twice a week at ETC TV. Guess what? I smell sugar, I smell chocolate, I smell butter, I love it all. And you know, I think I have some on my hips right now, girls. Welcome, sweet shop, sweet things. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, Y'all have done a fantastic thing about opening these mountains to the whole world when you got on the Food Network and you won. Yeah, girl. You won Cupcake you Wars. You won Cupcake Wars and That's you right. chose very different recipes. And I remember last time I talked to y'all and we had you on there, you were talking about who decided what you'd make and yada, yada, yada. Did you ever look back and say, what if we'd have decided on so and so? <laughs> we might not have won that thing. Listen, we nope. look back <laughs> and go, Ooh. and go, what if a lot? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When how did you actually get on Cupcake Wars? Did you have to apply? Did they look for you? How did that happen? Well, uh, Cupcake Wars is a um, is a television show, so um, you, it, it, they're cast, which is crazy because you know, Cupcakes. Mm. 
weren't even a thing 10 years ago. No. Mothers who were too lazy to make a cake made cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right, that's the truth. Right, but it is the thing now. Sudden, yes, it is yes. the hot thing Weddings now. Weddings are cupcakes instead of brown cupcakes. That's right. Right, yeah, and we do, that, we do that we a do lot. We do that a yeah. lot. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, they cast just like any other television show. And so um, I, unbeknownst to her, uh -oh. I, um, I... And she's still living. <laughs> <laughs> and I still like her occasionally. Yeah. 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 I wrote a little email in to them and I just said, you know, hey guys, um, this is who we are and this is what we do and this is why you want us on your show. Mm -hmm. And um, they said, well, you need to uh, do a little audition video. Okay. And so... Um, so kind of like a little selfie video. Oh no. Well, oh, no. that's what it could have been. Yes. But no, no, no. We had to take it to we don't, an extreme. We don't, we uh -oh. don't just do it. Uh-oh. We have to go up here. And, and I can't wait to tell y'all what you did, tell everybody what you did for Halloween. I'm so excited. <laughs> y'all are like my idols now. <laughs> okay, so you did the video. Yep, we, um... We contacted uh, Fannin County Sheriff's Department. Mm -hmm. and it helps to live in a small town. Yeah. Yes, it does. And we just yes, said, guys, listen, we're, we're trying to get on the Food Network, and y'all need to come and arrest us for having the best cupcakes <laughs> in the country. I, I love that. So you can, that actually, cool. you can actually go on YouTube uh -huh. and type in Arrested for Cupcake Wars. Oh, I and, love it. Um, Watch you, us crazy You can see us crazy girls um, wind up on Food Network because of that. I love but, but, it. Let me tell you, if you know my mother, which a lot her. of you yes, do, yes. yes, that would she, be Kay Leach. Yep, Kay Leach. Yep. Um, she actually, we in in the video. I'll give you a quick little rundown. They came, they arrested us, they took us, put us in the police car. We've got a cute little thing in the in, back, in, of, in the the back of the police car. Police car which that's the first time I've ever done that. Um, <clears> anyway, so really, we, really, really? No, I promise. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we go to jail. They put we got the orange suits and everything. So we get one phone call, and we called my mother to come and entice the police officer away from the jail cell I'm so that we ready. could break out with so the cupcakes. My I'm mother, my mother is hilarious. You have to go watch that. Arrested for arrested cupcake, for wars, for cupcake wars. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. So yeah, we're crazy. Now, so you really are the marketing genius behind this. <laughs> is she the recipe genius? Well. Honestly, like God just put us together and said, "Oh, watch this, see what's gonna happen." Because um, I did, uh, I did go to school for marketing. I do have a marketing degree, and uh -huh. I love that part of it. Um, but we both have a passion and a love for being in the kitchen and cooking stuff and uh, throwing ideas around. So now when it snows and it's miserable weather, do you experiment? Oh, because yeah. I find myself. <sighs> thinking up stupid stuff to cook because you're like bored. Oh, Listen, yeah. we think up stupid stuff <laughs> all Every the day. time. Every and, day. I, and it don't even always have to be um, to cook. <laughs> it's, we, we come up with all kinds of crazy stuff and we love what we do. We love baking. We love cooking. We love being in the kitchen. But we also love this part of it. We yes. love being yes. in front of people yeah. and yeah. talking. Yeah. And you know what? We've said it for now. This is our sixth year mm -hmm. in the shop in Blue Ridge. And we've said it for all six years. God has, um, is and has written a book, written a story with us. Yeah. And we absolutely love to share that. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, like she said, God <coughs> put us together mm -hmm. for a reason. Sometimes we think it's for his own um, entertainment. Humor. Yeah. Uh, we've always said God yeah. does have a sense of oh, humor. Oh, big yes. time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And it is so amazing how um, he has used us um, and in using us, we have been blessed. Yes. So we're very, like, we're so thankful for that. Right. But yeah, right. It, it has been a fun, fun journey so right. far. <laughs> now, sadly, you closed your Pigeon Forge store because a lot of folks were excited about that because people had seen you on the Food Network, but they didn't ever have a chance to come to Blue Ridge, but right. they were in Pigeon Forge a couple of times a year. So anything in the works to do that again? Well, <laughs> you know, how far in do you business, stretch yourself? Well, that's exactly. what you're thinking? And that's the thing is, if you know us, you know, we are very passionate and we get very excited about things and we saw an opportunity up there mm -hmm. um, and an amazing opportunity and we took it. Yeah. Um, and it was so far from home. It was a three hour trip up yeah. there. Yeah. And um, 
when you have fresh product and you bake every single day mm -hmm. and you have to be in the mix you yeah. know you yeah. have to be present and it was so hard for us to to be up there on a constant basis right. um, to, to try and take care of the shop we had we had great people that worked there but um, we just couldn't be there as much as we wanted yeah. to yeah. so very fortunately we were able to um, pick that store up mm -hmm. and bring it back home and, and now it's sitting in here in Ella J. So y'all can all come it. see us down here in Absolutely. Ella J. I love it. 15 minutes down the road from it. home. Now I kind of threw something at you and I was afraid y'all were going to slap me but I think we should have an inauguration cupcake. <laughs> yeah girl, let's and do it. I love <laughs> our new president elect and I am in love with our first lady and I think it should be elegant, it should Absolutely. be ex oh, just exotic and it should have blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> so can we tell people what y'all did for Halloween? Oh. Well, as a most probably most people that are watching have have probably seen it. Oh my um, gosh. I think it was probably one of the most shared photos that we have ever uploaded to our social media. Uh -huh. <laughs> we. Um, uh, as everybody knows, the, the week of Halloween was the week before the election. Yes. Um, and we saw a very big opportunity there for us to have a... Yeah, talking about a marketing um, <laughs> person, yeah. this one here had to talk me into it because yeah, I'm I mean, dressed like a man. I yeah. begged her. I begged she begged her me. For weeks. Weeks. <laughs> so um, we were we were Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton <laughs> for that is Halloween. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. And we have a picture on there. Um, Donald and Hillary actually did a really cool picture where you can kind of see this the side profile of them and Susan was like oh my gosh I don't care what we do but we have to take this picture blah blah, blah. so we were out there people coming in the shop people coming out of the shop and we were like stop we've got to take this picture really really quick uh -huh. and we had our, uh, some of our staff out there taking pictures and everything and it if you go on our Facebook page and we'll upload it uh -huh. um, Again. when we leave um, but because it is so cool, like it really looks it a does. lot yes, like it does. that picture. Because yes, we dress Except just like that them. that your face isn't wrinkled. She doesn't <laughs> use the creams that I get at Blue Ridge Dermatology. I can tell you because when you when you've been road hard and put up wet on the campaign trail as much as she was, she needed some of that facial cream. Oh my but, goodness! But you, uh, y'all, we nailed it. it. You nailed we it. it. We nailed it. Yes. We nailed it. Yes. We had a blast, and you know what? Everybody was. We were a little bit nervous to do yeah. it, but oh, um, it was hysterical. Everybody loved, loved it. it. Or hate it and you loved it. Everybody, Everybody loved it. Loved it. Yeah, it yeah, was it yeah. was awesome. And as a matter of fact, we did um, a Donald and Hillary cupcake that, that week. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love and it. we it did we uh, the the cupcake we did for Donald actually was his hair. <laughs> so you'll have to check that it out. It was yeah. it was crazy. It, it was yeah. we we'll, had a we'll blast. bring it back next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are excited about the new year. We're excited about yes, new business. We are We're too. excited about Ella J growing and and Ella J we're sitting kind of in the middle of things have really taken off in Blue Ridge. Things are beginning slowly to take off in Jasper. Ball ground is booming because ball ground is just like waking up. Yeah. We're waking up. So we're getting a bakery down there and I've had oh, her wow. cupcakes and it's the first time I think that Ball Ground's ever had a bakery. So we're That's getting awesome. a bakery. A bakery is somewhere that people will spend time. Right. Mm -hmm. They will go to town, they will walk around, they will end up in a bakery. They always want to converse with you, they right. want to know your ideas. Do you have sit-down space here in this store? Oh yes, we so do. So people can spend some time there? Absolutely. We, um, our Blue Ridge store is um, kind of what we model everything um, after mm -hmm. any time that we've done a store, Pigeon Forge and whatnot. So um, if you've been in our Blue Ridge store, and even if you haven't, I'm sure you've seen some pictures, um, we have got a really awesome space there. Mm -hmm. And then of course we um, modeled our LJ store after that as well. So we, we actually probably, I would say, have more, more space mm -hmm. in LJ to sit down and we've got a cool <laughs> and little bar. And you want people to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really neat. So we're really excited about Blue Ridge, or uh, about Blue Ridge and LJ, but about LJ specifically right now because we just there's such a huge opportunity uh -huh. here well, in LJ. And so. very fortunately, we have. A, an unbelievable following from Ella J uh -huh, that uh -huh. has always come to our Blue Ridge store. So to be able to bring You're our store to here, that's right. Yeah. 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 It's easy and convenient for y'all just to swing by yeah. our Ella J store. Yeah. Now, so. when you came to Ella J, did you do an apple cupcake in honor uh, of our <laughs> apple industry? You well, know we you did. Know what? <laughs> Speaking of apples. Okay. I'm excited. Drum roll, please. Oh, 
I don't know if you guys have ever had any of these. Um, where's the Right we have got, um, which we have been doing oh, these. I love it. Thank you. We you have been doing these welcome. in our um, Blue Ridge store, any, uh, all of our stores. We've um, done our apples. Uh, we make our caramel from scratch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We start with butter and sugar, and we add all Every that in. Time. And literally, we, I can go on record to say we have got the best apples that you can buy out there. I'll wow. put them up against Mrs. Printables and all of them. Like they well, I was are gonna amazing. Ask you, have you ever approached? Shark Tank about putting these on QVC <laughs> because they have one on there that's not so great. Have you met me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We <laughs> then, actually. Then the answer is yes. Okay. Because they do have one yeah. on QVC that I didn't like and I thought it was yeah. overpriced. Yeah. Well, that's... listen, we actually, this one here, she does stuff all the time and she don't tell me what she <laughs> She's does. Sneaky. She's sneaky. She's sneaky, sneaky little sucker. <laughs> um, she, we actually were <laughs> approved to go on to Shark Tank, mm -hmm. and um, we got to like the, the final, final crunches of it, and we were, it scared us so bad, because <gasps> we're literally like, these two little country bumpkins from town, from, you know, oh from the mountains, but. Y'all can't be scared of well, anything. we're not. You've been here for the <laughs> planet. I'm trying, for goodness I, sake. But oh, listen, wrong, but listen, this was before uh, okay. Donald and okay. Hillary. Okay. Um, like God just, he kind of just said, you know, girls, it's not the right time. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't it's the not right time. the right time. Okay. And we have learned that we got to listen. Okay. Yeah. When he okay. says, uh -uh, I got you. we yeah. have to listen. So um, we we do have an, an opportunity to go back okay. when, when we are ready. When the time so, is right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They were excited. Well, I want you to go back, and I want you to win them. I want you to go over there and smack Mark Cuban, because I did not like his attitude at all. I was an... I, I watched Shark Tank like it was the Baptist Church. I mean, I was there. You know, I was there. I turned that TV on, and I watched it. I don't watch it every week now, because yeah. of his pitiful attitude. So, I kind of went away from the program, but I would go back if y'all were on there. I well, would go back. Well, you never know. Y'all could bring me back to the tank. Yeah. Hey, listen, I will tell you, just to take up for them just a little bit, it's TV. I know. And TV always has, has that one yeah. Simon yeah. or yeah. who at yeah. Florian, yeah. Florian or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And to be honest with you, when we were on um, yeah. the Cupcake Wars, uh, Florian was our favorite judge. Okay. Because he was so nice. Yeah. So, yeah. that's All one thing that you got to remember. Yeah. TV off camera. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which you know that. Yeah. You know yeah. about TV. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Somebody asked Charlene one day, was I really as nice in person? And we laughed and said, until you cross her. Yeah. <laughs> and then God bless you. <laughs> so, Look but, out. But, you know, I'm, and it's funny because I told Roger Fetch the day he hired me, I said, I am what I am. If I'm having a bad day, you're going to know it. Yeah. If I'm having a good day, you're going to know yeah. it. Yeah. And that's just the way it is. And that's and, the way to be. And, and that's kind of, I think that's why y'all came across so well because you're just two beautiful smart brilliant Aww, girls thank you. who happen to have exceeded in everything you've touched <laughs> around Aww. a fan in County, Georgia. <laughs> so, well we are cool. two very blessed mm -hmm. girls who have been able to um, we've had opportunities that we, we never dreamed. sometimes can't believe yeah. and we're so immensely Do you remember the for. first time you got together and you said mm -hmm. nah, should we try this <laughs> oh i like i can tell you right now i remember the day the time exactly what we talked about <laughs> we um the day we fell in love the day we fell in love <laughs> is what she calls it <laughs> yeah um but we we I was working at a furniture store in Blue Ridge and Been there, um, done that. yeah yeah, yeah and right I had that conversation yes ma'am <laughs> and her mama uh, had a little store beside yes, it I love and her mama's she setup. I she come in to see her mama one day yeah and uh, I. I knew, I knew her brother. I knew her mama. I knew everybody. Even knew my dad. I, I did know your dad from real estate, yeah. and I never knew she existed. So yeah. she, um, God said, watch this, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. He sent her into my path that day. And we got to talking, and of course, all we could talk about was, oh my gosh, th this recipe that I have, yeah. and I love to do this, and my uh -huh. grandmother's recipe, and this is my mom's recipe, and uh -huh. we sat there and talked for about three hours, yeah. and um, it was like. We just had, we, we clicked. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. just had that click. It was, so. it really was. I mean, I, I have joked in years past that we fell in love that day, but really there was something that God said, you know what? I, I together, think I need to you make are better this. Than as yeah, make one. this happen. Together, and you that's are kind of, you were talking about the Pigeon Forge thing. Um, that was when I had left and was there all the time. Susan and I were never 
able to be together. Yeah. And yeah. I don't want to, it to sound weird or anything. We're just very close right. in that right. when we're together, we think of and exactly alike. And you play off each other That's and right. you complement yes. each other and it makes such a difference. Yeah, we yeah. Do. it really yeah. does. And yeah. for us to be able to be together on a daily basis now, mm -hmm. we love and we hate each other all at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, day. we're like sisters, yeah. you know, we well, fight and you've gripe. You've seen and, fried green tomatoes yeah. and you know yeah. in the movie how they're in the kitchen and they're slamming yeah. that flower on each other. And then other. they die like that. y'all doing that. Yeah. Every day. It yeah. happens every day. No idea. There's days that we go and we don't even say, we're just like, yeah, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. I can't believe I'm here. Yeah, yeah. No, and then we just love it. So, Well, tell folks where the LJ store is. We are located uh, right there on the square in LJ. We are uh, right around the corner from the courthouse mm -hmm. and uh, right down from Blue Ridge Olive Oil Company and Abby's Ice Cream. Yeah. Well, I have a friend who, this is so funny, she and I met, you can't imagine this, over a garnet ring about 30 some odd years ago. And I'm about six hours older than her and she has a little <laughs> mini mall in downtown yep. LJ. Yep. And she's been there 26 years. Yeah, and, wow. and she was talking about how I've made it the 26 years. And it's it's funny because the day we met, when we realized we both had the same birthday, same year, same everything, just six hours difference. And we both loved antiques and we had that common denominator yeah. And I said, there's always a common denominator, mm -hmm. whether it's cooking or enjoying sharing or, or you in marketing. Now, if she weren't the marketing person, could you have done what y'all have done? Absolutely not. No. No. Honestly, See, it takes both it of really you takes, It each takes other. two. Yeah. It takes. And yep. you know what? We have talked many times that um, I think, and, and like I said, we've talked about it. When God put us together, it was for that purpose. Because, um, I mean, not to take anything away from Susan, but I don't think she could have done it without me. And I know that I could not have done it without her. And not only that, but it you share that load. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. I mean, it, it is kind of like being married to somebody. You, you do. You share that load. And you are able to, you know, one person pays the bills and one person makes sure that the schedule's right. One person uh -huh. does this, one person does that. So it's really... Um, <laughs> and when one person melts down the other one but is there to yeah, say you better to hold them up it's yeah. time to do this yeah, yeah, yeah. and that has happened yes that yeah. has happened many a time yes. we're, we're six years in so yeah. we've had quite the meltdowns yeah. several yeah. times sometimes was with there the same ever ones. day that you thought i'm just gonna slam this door and be done with this did you ever get that <laughs> yeah. because y'all you succeeded when the economy failed do y'all realize there's been a recession uh, yeah. did y'all realize that people really and truly jobs were lost realtors were greeters at walmart oh I, 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 yeah. I sold real yeah. estate for 15 years yeah. Yeah. and i know and the real estate market went away and we were all looking for part-time piddly yeah. jobs right. that we could do so did you ever hit that terrible bottom you know what we never did I don't think um so. we what a blessing yeah. yeah we um i mean we own a bakery it's a uh -huh. cupcake shop i mean yeah. you, you ain't gonna leave our door minutes. without a smile yeah, yeah. you yeah. know it's yeah. a it's a happy place and um we have a, such a passion for it and when people would come in we love to sit down and do this with our customers uh -huh, you know uh -huh. our customers are our family yeah. Yeah. and yeah. they love to hear our story and we love to hear theirs uh -huh, so uh -huh. you know when all the when all the negative and, and, and economy stuff was going on we had kind of had our own little corner of the universe yeah. in there yeah. and um, people would, would eat like and smile and laugh. <laughs> Hey, let me tell you, we've yeah. had we've had a few of those sessions too. I, yeah. I'll never forget when we first opened the doors. Um, we had um, several people, and I tell this story a lot of times to to some of our customers that come in because so many of them say there's just a feeling in here that's mm -hmm. so different, mm -hmm. and it there really is because. Again, we keep saying this, God put us together and He established the Sweet Shop of the uh -huh. South. Uh -huh. um, yeah, we, we, we bake. We, we bake cupcakes and cheesecakes and this, that, and the other. Um, and all of that is wonderful. But that's our platform uh -huh. Uh -huh. for what He can do, uh -huh. has done. Uh -huh. Listen, we're not perfect uh -huh. and uh -huh. we'll never be. Uh -huh. um, but it's a platform that He gave us that uh -huh. we could do this. So our success has been his success. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So that's that's who we owe it uh -huh, to completely uh -huh. and totally. So as far as the recession goes, 
I could feel it in my own personal pocketbook. Right. Yes, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. in the shop, yeah. no. He yeah. has blessed it so yeah. beyond. You, you would love. I have a friend up in, and you may know her. Do you know Crystal Davis up in my I home? do. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Well, Crystal, we call her the little Reba McIntyre. She's just the coolest, sweetest thing. And I love her attitude about business right. because during the recession or during the good times, bad times, when you get in her vehicle, there's a Bible and a 45 gun. <laughs> And you know right She's up front it. how it is. Yeah. You know you I'm ain't going to be, you you ain't gonna be cussing and drinking in the car with her. <laughs> and you ain't going to be getting out of line in the car with her. And I think that's what comes across so well with y'all, too. Because if you lay it out there on the line and you tell people this is the way it is, yeah. there are no surprises, there are no shocks, there are no hurt feelings. Because everybody knows... I've got attitude, you've got attitude. Oh, yeah. oh, that yeah. attitude probably got us through some tough times. That's right. You know, if you don't have that tough attitude, then you're not going to make it through those days mm -mm. that you, you close the door and you cry because somebody came in and asked you for a job making cupcakes yeah. who used to be one of the greatest builders in right. Fannin County. That's exactly you know, right. You've seen it all. Yeah. And well, you know that you can go from here to here in 30 seconds. But how cool is it to, to be able to be down in that valley. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I I was a realtor. I still have my real estate license. I've been there. Yeah. I've lost stuff. I know. Fine, but to be <laughs> able to be able to bless somebody yeah. else yeah. in that valley, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And sometimes it really does start <coughs> over that cupcake or apple or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I have I have stood in my shop with hundreds of people around and just be squalling talking to someone who you know has has been through some of the hardest things in sure. their life yeah and it's like oh my gosh this this is why we're doing this that's yeah. it that's it you know, when I came back here, and not many people knew the situation I came back under, but, but Freddie gave me the greatest advice ever. He said, don't do it for a paycheck or for you or for any other reason. He said, think about the people who contact you every day. Think about the texts. Think about the calls. Think about the people who stop you on the street. He said, mm -hmm. think about them. Right. And he said, as long as you think about them then you're going to do well. Yeah. And I came back with that attitude. Right. It was all about what can you do for somebody else. And and this weekend, yeah. and I've, I've laughed about it, because if you usually get a Christmas card from me and you didn't this year, it's because until yesterday I hadn't found, I have massive box of cards that people send me, because any card anybody ever sent me, I still have. It takes up a lot of space, <laughs> but I still have them. And I was finding addresses from people, and, and I was looking at them, and I thought, what a blessing they've been to me. Yeah. And I found so many recipes that viewers have sent yeah, me. That's cool. And I said, have y'all ever done somebody else's recipe that somebody gave you? Do Us? other people bring you recipes and you try them? Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. We get all kinds of... Um, People will, they will comment or they'll come into the shop and they'll see a cupcake that we did and they'll say, you know what, I used to do this at my house, but I would do it this way. Mm -hmm. And we would be like, hmm. Mm. And we have, we have switched some of the way that we do some mm -hmm. of our cupcakes mm -hmm. based on that. Um, we, our cheesecake recipe, um, Susan and I tweaked it just a little bit, but our cheesecake recipe was from someone who brought it in and literally it was amazing yeah we added this and that to it and but it, it's amazing so there you go. we are absolutely about um, just doing what's good yeah you know well, yeah. and then yeah. going along with that we um, we are now doing a live uh, Facebook feed every uh -huh. Tuesday and Thursday uh -huh. uh, between 6 and 6 30 and we get on there in the morning no <laughs> honey no are you kidding I didn't know <laughs> snoring honey I didn't know there was two six o'clocks in the day what you talking about <laughs> But six we, to six already in the evening. In the evening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we um we do a cooking segment on there and uh, a lot of the times the uh, our viewers will send us in, you know, different stuff uh -huh. for us to try. Last uh -huh. night we 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 made a recipe last night we had never we made never before. Even tried. And we were uh -huh. like, you know what, if it fails right. then we're all right well, with you that. know the way I got started here was a four minute segment on cooking. And the hardest thing in the world was to complete something in four minutes. Oh yeah. 
And so I, I would have to choose my recipes wisely, but I got the sweetest letter and I was reading it yesterday and it was about a family in Florida who still makes one of my little four minute recipes and they said every time the grandkids come we do this. And I thought how sweet That's it is cool. to still get these messages and mm -hmm. still know. But that four minute condensation, yeah. when you condense uh -huh. what you're doing down there and you're like, Four minutes. Okay, I can do this, and and you you learn to do that. But honey, we ha on Cupcake Wars we did a thousand cupcakes in two hours. I know we that got was that. Crazy. <laughs> but y'all, I swear, I watched it and I'm like, <laughs> they got they got little elves in there. Uh, and there is no way they're doing a thousand cupcakes. Uh -uh. We that did was it. Crazy. We well, did it. It was the craziest now, thing we've ever done. If you go on there and you look at the final product, yeah. they're not that beautiful. Yeah, yeah. but they but tasted good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the beautiful thing about um, Facebook Live is that you got all day. Yes. You got yes, however long yes. you want to do it. You yeah, can do it. Yeah. Um, and honestly, like um, last night, I think was probably one of our shortest ones. I think it was about uh, 30, 30 minutes or so or minutes. And um, but. What we have found is, I mean, we don't have a huge following right this second, but every single time that we do it, there's more people and more uh -huh. people that's sure. going on there because sure. they enjoy it and because we're crazy. Sure. Will, we you, crazy. will you do something for me? Will y'all please put on your Hillary Trump outfits <laughs> and do a live feed with a recipe for a cupcake for the inauguration? <laughs> Please, please. It will be so cute. It will be so cool. And do a cupcake that's got some bling in it from Melania. Oh, really cool. my Lord. Something stylish. Because she is stylish. Hey, if anybody can do it, it's a. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Maybe we, we can use your contacts and we can get to the inauguration. Well, that How would be that? really cool. That would be really cool. I got a thing last night. Um, I'd made a little. Um, commitment to him and, and I got something in the mail that said send us your pictures of where you've worn your Trump paraphernalia and all this stuff and I said it's so funny because I did the pink sign the Trump for women sign you know yeah. and I pulled up over at the car wash here in LJ and all the guys that were working there were mm. like yes and I thought that is too cool that, that is, is cool. too cool but but we all um, we are looking to 2017 to be a fantastic year for yeah. small businessmen yes you are one of the newest small businessmen here in LJ and we have to say we're hoping LJ really burst open this year it's got to be the year that we come back, we bring it all back home. Um, people are loving coming to these mountains, and and we want them to know that you're there. Now, hours, what's your hours in the store in LJ? We are closed on Mondays, um, and we are open Tuesday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, we open 11 to 5.30 during the week, and then we close at 4 on Saturday. Okay, so, closed on Sunday as well. Yeah, closed on Sunday. And what so. if somebody wants to place an order? If they're having an event fun. like a golf tournament and they have a special, you know, logo or something they want to do, can you do things like that? We can do just about anything. We, listen. <laughs> Uh, we we will never commit to it without seeing it, uh -huh. but we will try anything. Yeah, Lord knows yeah. that we yeah. we will try. I have anything. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> we no will doubt. try anything. We do a lot of special events, um, especially weddings. Um, we do a lot of baby showers and wedding showers and different things like that, and. Um, that's something that we enjoy too is getting to sit down with brides or new mommies or whatnot mm -hmm. and and really talk about their theme and what they're doing we mm -hmm. even do the gender reveal cupcakes mm -hmm. where you yeah, bite into them several and, times uh, yeah the or most pink. wonderful thing to do is a ginger of uh, ginger a gender reveal and then they bring that child back oh, in wow. to see us That's we've sweet. we've got That's two or three many times. Yeah. that they have brought them in and let us give them their first cupcake yeah that is so much fun yeah. we love that yeah so now tell people a variety of cupcakes because I remember did you do a key lime cupcake girl we <laughs> have I love that key lime that's that, one of our most popular it so flavors French. it just it, it was like I was at the beach you know <laughs> well and I we use fresh ingredients we yeah. use it's not it's not regular limes that you get at the grocery store it is key lime juice uh -huh. in that particular frosting and cake so uh -huh. We have about 90 different flavors of cupcakes. Wow. So we offer anywhere from six to 10 flavors on our bar. We have a cupcake bar every mm -hmm. single day. Mm -hmm. So um, there's all kind of different flavors and they are seasonal. So mm -hmm. we do not have the key lime pie right now that mm -hmm. comes back out in the spring, mm -hmm. but we have some really amazing um, cupcakes for the winter that we're, we, we have a hot chocolate cupcake that we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. um, we even have one called the horchata, which is um, kind of a Spanish milk type cupcake. 
of cake that we do. Wow. It's got cinnamon and vanilla bean. And, uh -huh. um, we have all I kinds of stuff. I love the smell of vanilla bean. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness Can't gracious. Be. That's addictive. Yeah. That is yeah. addictive. Yeah. We do, um, we actually have a few of our um, regulars that we do uh -huh. every single day um, or every single whatever. Like uh, we have Friday and Saturday. It is uh, red velvet every single Friday and Saturday. Uh -huh. um, we also do French toast and bacon. Uh -huh. She said bacon. <laughs> On a cupcake. That sounds so young. It I'm is. I'm telling you, it's oh our, my gosh. it is actually our most popular cupcake that we have. But let oh me tell you what's goodness. funny is, of course, it doesn't have the icing or the bacon on it, but that cupcake, when it comes out of the oven, I cannot resist it. I cannot resist it. I absolutely love it. Oh, my goodness. But we actually take raw bacon, we cook it, we grind it up to make it look um, good, and we sprinkle it on top of that. We put uh, maple syrup on top oh and sprinkle goodness. it with powdered some powdered sugar. sugar. Y'all are killing me. It See, is. I, on, on winter days, I cook French toast yeah. because it reminds me of my mama. Yeah. So it's like the bacon and the French toast. That's like the, the Sweet most and comforting, salty. the comforting mm -hmm. smell. Oh my goodness. Well, I told that's Susan awesome. on, on the way down here. Now, I who said, came up with that idea? Oh gosh, that was a that was that was a I don't know I don't even remember I don't either. We've been doing that one for so long that okay. I don't even remember. I think that we just kind of said, "Hey, this hey, will be really cool." Yeah. But I told Susan, I said, "Do you realize that we're going down there to talk about cupcakes and we don't even have any cupcakes to talk to?" <laughs> But we're closed yes. today yeah. because we, uh, during the slower times right now. But um, so we're. We didn't even have any cupcakes to bring you, so that's the reason that we brought you some apples, and that's we also good. have some pretzels for that's you. That's good. Yeah, what kind of pretzels? <laughs> oh, girl, let me tell you something. Now, see, we love pretzels around the house. But let me tell you. Okay. These pretzels, uh -huh. these pretzels actually took second in the Flavor of, jo Flavor of Georgia <gasps> in 2012. Second? What they do you mean second? second? They well, should have been first. You, you, have you tasted these? <laughs> no, but I bet they're good. <laughs> There's the white chocolate. Oh, see, white chocolate is like my, I'm crazy about white chocolate. Well, when you pair white chocolate with our crazy. caramel, yes. oh my gosh. This is milk chocolate. Um, a lot of times people, because of how dark it is, people think uh -huh. that it's dark chocolate, uh -huh. and we have to correct them. It is milk, milk chocolate. chocolate. Yay. So, Yay. You can take Pretzels those. Pretzels are a big thing around the ball ground But area. let me tell you that something. That is so cool. Those are dipped in our caramel, uh -huh. and then dipped in chocolate. Um, they do need to stay in the refrigerator because okay. that caramel will soak up the or the um, pretzel. pretzel will soak up the moisture. Uh -huh. um, so they need to stay in the refrigerator. But I am telling you, you cannot. I can't wait. I'm excited. I am telling you, they are. You amazing. fixing to have a moment? <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. This, this is my moment. This is my moment. <laughs> Now, if people wanted to meet you and talk to you, do you ever go out and talk to young women who are thinking about starting a business? Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you, one of the most wonderful things that Susan and I ever got to do um, was we got to go to Berry College. Uh -huh. And we gave a speech or a class or a, we don't even know. We just, we just, we just talk. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, on, it was in a business management class uh -huh. and it was so much fun because so many people every single time that we go somewhere they always ask us about Cupcake Wars and Duck Dynasty and Zach Brown and this that uh -huh. and the other but these people were actually excited and talked to us about our business, business. Yes. and that was so much fun because we got to tell them about I mean and some of it isn't exciting uh -huh. you know sure but some of it is. Yeah. So yeah. it was really exciting yeah. to get to if do that. If the books don't balance, it doesn't matter how much fun that's you right. had. That's exactly right. You're going right. to be locking the doors. You know, that's so right. Somebody's got to take care of business. That's right. So speaking of taking care of business, do you have an Elvis Presley cupcake? <laughs> He just celebrated his 82nd birthday. Did y'all yes, not do an Elvis cupcake? We, listen, we were close. It's because of the damn <laughs> snow. Elvis But we sorry. do have an Elvis we cupcake. We do have one. Do you? We do now have tell an me Elvis what it, what's in it. It's, um, it's a banana uh, cupcake, and it's got a peanut butter frosting Yay. on the top of it um, and we top it with a little little piece of bacon on the yeah, top. And some so, honey. Of course so you gotta put that bad. honey on there. Yeah, he would love that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, let me we, we make cupcakes for every occasion. Yeah. And we so. call it the king. Yeah. We call yeah. it the king. <laughs> one of the coolest cupcakes that we've ever done which is uh, probably one of my personal favorites but um, as we all know um, Prince oh. yes. passed away this year yes, yes. and oh. we did a purple rain, purple rain cupcake, cupcake. Yes. and I promise you <laughs> we did like not gray? What does it taste no, like? it. We actually, um, it was a vanilla cupcake, uh -huh. and we just did a really pretty purple frosting, but we made raindrops. Oh wow! It was so. It was cool. the prettiest. She told me it was going to do this, and I'm like, 
She's oh like, gosh. oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. And we, that was one of those slappy moments, wasn't it? <laughs> we made it, and it sold out. And we made okay. some more, and it sold out. And then I was and like, the, okay. The <laughs> phone yeah, like was idea. ringing off the hook. Yeah. It was incredible. Speaking of phones ringing off the hook, right now, we've got to take a commercial break, or my phone's going to be ringing off the hook with sponsors <laughs> smacking me in the jaws. So we're going to take, <laughs> please don't forget our sponsors. They are the reason we are here. So, so grateful to so many who have been with us for so many years. We're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be back shortly. So, uh, what you doing? I'm, uh, I'm watching TV. TV? Yeah, well, it's really nice outside. With the binoculars. Yeah, yeah, so I watch TV off the mirror that goes through the window into the binoculars so I can be, like, outside while I watch. Watch a lot of TV? ETC's TV Everywhere lets you watch TV on your phone, tablet, or computer. Visit etcnow.com to find out more. Gilmer Parks and Recreation invites everyone out to River Park on Highway 5 in LJ. Join the 50-plusers every Wednesday at 9 a.m. for a Wednesday walk in the park at the tennis courts. Free bottled water will be available. Visit our website to find out about our recreational sports programs and rec leagues. You'll also find information on mountain biking and hiking trails, as well as tubing and rafting on the Cartagena River, all on GilmerRecreation.com. Gilmer County, a great place to play. Proverbs 4.26 states, ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business, because at Kaiker Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageau is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Yeah, yeah. See that on my face? Sure was good. Wish y'all could have had some. You ain't gonna get none. What pretzels? <laughs> we don't know what's talking about. Yeah, I'm excited about taking these to ball ground. That is so cool. I wish, I can't say this though, because we're getting a good bakery in, in ball ground. And she's been waiting a year on her building to be ready. Aww, that's but awesome. I wish that we had one of y'all closer to us. Ella J is close enough, but it's mm -hmm. still 30 minutes from ball ground. Um, do you do a mail order business? Because I'm looking at this product and I'm thinking to people, can they order this by mail and send it as a gift? They can. Yeah. We um, right now we are shipping part of our products. We can ship our apples and our pretzels. Um, we have come up with a way to ship our cupcakes, mm -hmm. um, which is in the process of being developed. So we're super excited about that. Okay. But um, the majority of our products, yes, you can um, call us or go online. I'm thinking Valentine's Day is oh. coming. Can we make a Valentine basket a goodie? Oh, we girl, have, would that not be the coolest thing ever? And oh. wouldn't you rather have that than one of the those pre-boxed things of candy that was boxed in Mexico four years ago. <laughs> Come on now. Listen, um, we always have uh, Valentine's Day for a bakery um, is always the biggest. It's our biggest holiday. day I mean, of the whole year. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. 
and we absolutely love it. We get to take stuff to the kids and we get to take stuff to um, the, we love the husbands that come in and say, I have no idea what to do. Yeah. We're like, yeah. And we say, we got you. We got you. Just watch we got you. Yeah. Yeah. And actually this year we are hoping, now nobody hold me to this, but we are hoping to make our shop a one-stop shop. Uh -huh. You maybe, maybe you can get your card, you can get all of your candy, maybe uh -huh. you can get a rose or whatnot. So we are working on developing that so uh -huh. that uh -huh. you can come in the shop and literally that's it. Uh -huh. That's, the, that's uh -huh. the only place that uh -huh. you have to go. You don't even um, have to come in. You uh -huh. can just pick up the phone and call uh -huh. us. That's exactly right. Exactly. And, and even have it delivered? Yes. Uh, that in is one limits. of the okay. days that okay. we do deliveries is okay. Valentine's Day. Okay. Um, we deliver to all the school systems yep. in mm -hmm. Fannin and Gilmer. Um, and hey, we've, we've done uh, Blairsville too. We have yeah. done Blairsville yeah. also. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, We're good that is such a great idea. Now, can you give the phone number of both the shops? Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Our Blue Ridge. Get your pencil, paper, your pencil. Write this down. <laughs> Take notes. Write this down. Yeah. Our Blue Ridge shop is 706-632-6886. And our Ella J uh, number is 706-276-6886. There you go. So it's the so. same number, just the two different prefixes. There you go. Yeah. Have you ever looked back and said, Seriously, what a ride. What Every an day. amazing ride. Every yeah. single day. Yeah. Yeah. We we have never taken this shot for granted. Um, it it's like we're living a dream. Mm -hmm. Because it I mean, I know ever since I was three years old, I've always wanted to do something with food. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, we work, we do this every day and I go home and I work in my kitchen. I mm -hmm. love being in the kitchen. I love to just cook period, mm -hmm. not just bake, but cook. And this, it, we, we are living our dream and it's so cool I to be able to that. do that. I yeah. have, I have a, a quick little story. Um, I can remember when my son, he's now 10, he was a little baby and some, it, it, it makes me tear up every time I think about it because I, I can remember sitting in the recliner looking at him and watching <laughs> him crawl around. And I said, God, what is my purpose? And he said, just wait. Right now, I just need you to raise that little boy. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he went to school, mm -hmm. that's when the sweet shop developed. And that's how I know mm -hmm. that this is a great thing. Because you had the opportunity to be his mom first. Yep. And then business was there and, and waiting on you, almost yep. like it waited for for the time to be it right. It really did. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I have to say, I do love your mama, you know, and, and thank God for your Who sweet don't mama. Who do love your mama. Thank God for yeah. your sweet mama. Yeah. yeah. Because she did, she did possibly put all this together oh. with her kindness and doing the things that she did and then making it all work. My mother is such a godly woman um, and a funny woman. <laughs> she is hilarious. If you know her, like, she is... So much fun. And one of the really cool things about Susan and I, the dynamic that we have, is that Susan has a precious mother who is 84 years old. And um, she actually worked with Wilton, which wow. is Wilton a Kate yes. company. Oh, my yes. gosh. Yeah. And my, she was, well, she was, she was our, uh, our little famous town baker. If you wanted a birthday cake or a uh -huh. wedding cake uh -huh. in Monticello, Georgia, where I grew up, uh -huh. um, you called my mama. Yeah, and yeah. that is the actual base of our cupcakes. Wow, that is her recipe. Wow. So, so how we cool got to is that? we got to develop that with the cupcakes, and then I would, in growing up, I would be in the kitchen with my mom and my grandmother, and then on my dad's side, my grandmother, and they all would come together, and mm -hmm. we got to go in there, and we'd roll the balls of the peanut butter, and mm -hmm. we would, you know, all this stuff. So when we got to develop that, I mean, that's what I think is just so amazing is to look back, not just six years, but keep on going back and right. seeing that God had a it's hand in all this mm -hmm. for years, mm -hmm. you know, and we're just, we're very excited about it. Mm -hmm. We're very thankful for I it. I couldn't tell them. <laughs> we're excited about their jobs. You know, do y'all get up every morning and go, Lord, I've got to go back to work. And I have to say, I'm so thankful, so grateful that today I was able to get back to work and it is good to be back with y'all. Um, tomorrow, Jen's going to be with me. It is going to be a day of celebration. We're going to celebrate my daughter's life. We're going to celebrate by smiling and, and remembering and having great, great things to do. And it's going to be a, a day of celebration. I love what y'all have done. I love what you've accomplished. I love the idea that you know where it all came from. Oh, yeah. And um, y'all are a blessing. Aww. What a blessing. Aww, Woo! Thank you. They're awesome. Don't forget, Valentine's Day, they've done it all for you. Just pick up the phone and call them. 
If you're in LJ, stop by here and see them. And do you just have cupcakes in the store? You don't have lunch items, no sandwiches or anything like that. So no, it's we, just the we are a dessert company. Okay, okay, there yeah, you yep. go. We are a dessert company and there we have go. lots of awesome stuff. If it's not awesome, we don't do it. There you go, there you go. I can't wait to try the French toast. I'm excited about that. All right, we've got to get out of here. It's time to leave you now. We're going to leave you where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. We'll see you again only on ETC. Don't forget, Dave Garner will be live here at 5 o'clock with trading time. Pick up the phone, call him, and give him an idea of what you'd like to sell to raise a little cash so you can buy that honey a big old diamond ring. <laughs> Cowboys, yours for free.